some of these stouts, they, they validate the whole room temperature theory that some people kind of have type thing and stuff. Be going down, people of the world. My name is Redbeard, and this is yet another Daily Drink Vlog. Thanks so much for joining me. For the beer of the today, we've got the first, oh, I believe it was nine really cool beers sent to me by Dan from Booze, Games, and Deep Thoughts, YouTube channel, will be linked down below, uh, from Calgary. And this particular beer is a can of Krampus Christmas Ale. It's by the New Level Brewing Company out of Calgary, Alberta, and it's an Imperial Eggnog Stout coming in at 10% ABV. Um, yeah. Eggnog is... I haven't had eggnog in a long time, but I remember when I did have it, I wasn't a fan, so I haven't really tried it in a long time, like I just said, and, um, I'm scared. I'm a little scared. But I was scared of oyster stouts when I first acquired one of them, and I was like, what the hell is this going to be? And the two that I've had, I think it's only been two, were quite tasty, if not damn tasty, my recollection is correct. So with that in mind, you know, positive thinking, let's uh, crack this open, and let's see what we've got. I'm assuming a 10% Imperial Stout is going to be relatively frickin' dark. Make sure we get a little bit of the head on there. Oh yeah. It's a Christmas ale, so it's obviously a little bit kind of out of date, but it's an imperial frickin' stout. It should be completely fine. It looks completely fine. Light-wise, I'm assuming nothing is going to happen with all three levels, like I thought. Nice, kind of typical imperial stout, really thick, tightly packed head. Wasn't poured super aggressively, so only a finger or so. It smells kind of nice. Okay, the cat is a nutball. You know, all I'm really getting is like just kind of a nice Christmas spice. Like if you ever had a, uh, I hate to make the comparison, go to Tim Hortons and get like one of their Christmas spice coffees or whatever they do. Uh, ice cap even with a flavor shot like that. It actually smells quite nice. I'm getting zero hint of the high ABV, zero hint of anything like that, zero hint of really any beery characteristics, to be honest. Let's give her a shot. Wow. That's not too bad at all. There's something in the flavor profile I'm not big on it's almost like a I hate that I can't put my flocking finger on what these I, I know it I've had it before it's like I want to say a little must I don't, it's musty but that doesn't make any sense and aside from that everything else was quite nice that kind of nice, just Christmas spicy nutmeg and it's cracking up like in a Christmas cake type thing or some kind of Christmas baking. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. And many cheers to you, Dan. There's still two other beers aside from this one that I'm rather apprehensive about, but we'll see how we go. I like some cinnamon out of that too. And then that. Maybe that's the eggnog I'm getting. But wouldn't the eggnog be like the overall flavor I'm getting? I don't know what I'm talking about. Water, yeast, barley, lactose, oats, hops, cinnamon, nutmeg, and vanilla. So there's no actual eggnog that's going into that. It's like a... a an interpretation of eggnog, you call it, I guess. So I don't know what flavor in there would be throwing me off. I got no problem with lactose in a beer, oats, hops, cinnamon. I got the cinnamon. 
nutmeg. I got this. I, I got both of those. I didn't get vanilla. I'm pretty proud of myself right there. Um, I don't know. It's not bad. No date on it, but again, like it's it was Christmas of last year ish. Ten percent imperial stout. There should be no issues there whatsoever. I think the issue is just my tongue. The initial flavor, it's great. Still great. Right there. Right there, something happens. And it just, it doesn't become terrible. It just falls off a little bit for me. Although, as I'm getting into it, that taste is not annoying me as much as it did with the first couple of drinks. So that's a, that's a bonus. By the end of it, maybe I'll be loving it. It happens sometimes. Uh, newlevelbrewing.com will bring you to newlevelbrewing.com. And that wasn't there before. Where am I? There we go. Uh, I, I, I am 18 plus. Ooh, Alberta's special. They have a lower drinking age. Lord of the Wart. Rain in beer. Thrash Thursday. $14 fills for 30 What? What? It's a weird, weird website they got going on there. Um, yeah. Sure. I think, I've, what, like, at least... At least four or five of the nine beers Dan sent me are from this brewery. And this one, and I think one of the peanut butter, the pe peanut butter and jam stout or something, that one gives me pause, as it were. Yes, though, I was very apprehensive, the whole eggnog thing. It's not as frightening as I thought it would be. It's still not really working for me overall, but I can't recall what Dan thought of it. I think Dan enjoyed it. But, like I said, I'll get to do it more and come back when I'm almost finished because that looks like about eight and a half minutes of frickin' recording time. I've kind of come around to this. Whatever that weird flavor is, isn't really getting to me nearly as much as it was. Maybe it needed to warm up. It's definitely warmed right up right now. And like a fair number of higher ABV stouts, once it warms up, it becomes better. Like Personally, almost anything that I drink, even if it's freaking freezing cold outside, I still like to have a nice cold drink. That's just how I roll. But some of these stouts, they, they validate the whole room temperature theory that some people kind of have type thing and stuff. It made perfect sense. Shut up. Um... Only found on Untapped, and on Untapped, it has a rating of 3.69 out of 5, with 169 ratings overall. So it's really not been rated by that many people, which is kind of cool. I feel a little bit special. A little bit of a write-up right here. Infused with lactose, cinnamon, vanilla, and nutmeg, on a malt bill that's heavy on the roast and chocolate, it's a holiday treat that'll delight the most miserable Grinch. That should say it's a... Holiday treat. <sighs> God damn it. Drink her last. New Level Brewing. Your Krampus Christmas Ale. Rating. Six point five. It just I don't hate it, but it's not something I would want to have again, personally. That's just how I roll, but, you know. I love trying new things. 
I'll try anything once, even if it's something I think I'm going to hate. If I've never tried it before, I'll try it that one time. And if I do hate it, I'm probably going to stay away from it for the rest of my life. But, um, yeah. This actually makes me want to retry actual eggnog. If I do do that, if I do do that. Ah! Um, I'll try to do it on the channel. Although it's currently February 25th, so chances of finding eggnog this time of year without making it myself... I'm sure I could do that. I can cook things. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Regardless, thank you, Dan. It was an experience. And um, that's where we're going to end the video. If you had the... If, you had the blah, 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 blah. if you've had this beer, comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And if you liked the video, smash the thumbs up button. In the face, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Blah, 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 blah. Back with something like this tomorrow. A peace out. First and only beer I've had today, 10% ABV. Made sure I ate some food and stuff. I don't actually feel that intoxicated. Oh, I'm going to have another beer.